Hello everyone, this is Captain Thief again. Uh, I just want to let you know I'm going to try and uh, make this one a louder volume, so you may want to turn down the volume if you're coming in from my previous video, which, you know, I think was set to too quiet, and I don't know what the problem is, but I'll try and get that issue resolved as soon as I can. Alright, so we're going to play another go at this. Um, as much as, it, as nice as it is to be Magline and start with something like the Yum Heart, you know, I, I think the speed kind of hurts me there. So I, I guess we'll just keep trying as Isaac. I, I don't know. Just he's the main character of the game, so it, it kind of makes sense, though. If you ask me, I think all the characters are some sort of iteration of Isaac. All right, so we got the item room pretty early, the portable slot machine. You can only use it if you have money, but it acts just like a slot machine, where it eats a co or <laughs> it eats a coin and uh, outputs, if you're lucky, some um, stuff. Now, the nice thing about Isaac is he starts with one bomb, so we're gonna go ahead and use it and get these bombs. One bomb for four bombs. That's a three bomb profit right there. All right, and we'll just go ahead and kill all these guys because they're jerks and they're bleeding all over the floor. I just got this place cleaned up, guys. Come on. Now, if we only had one bomb, I would say that we probably shouldn't open this chest, but since we've got four, let's do it. Ooh, that's like a white and golden pill. I don't have the PhD anymore, so it might hurt me, but... Range up, okay. Now I can shoot a little further. I don't want to do any well actually I do kind of want to do sacrifices now that I know that there's no challenge rooms here so let's go ahead and go through ow ah. and now I get to fight the boss with just one heart <laughs> all right um Jim and I I should be able to uh, handle myself here one heart is just two hits of course but you know maybe Maybe I can do this. And also the little one is shooting a little faster than usual. I think. Might be one of those things where the game just gets harder the more you beat it. I, I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Um, if I can just take one of them out, then I'll have very little diff- Ow. Okay, there, there's one hit. And the second one might be coming here soon. Stay back or I'll throw my... Um, portable slot machine at you. Ah! Okay. So I, I was focused on bombing him. Because bombs actually do a lot of damage to bosses. Oh, almost got me. Okay, let's go up top. Uh, there, one of them has to be close. I am tired of the shooter. But, once I get rid of one of them, I think I get rid of a shooter, or I get rid of the shooting, so to speak, so, yeah, that should be good here soon. Oh, oh, almost got killed the, oh, I died. That was surprisingly quick. Um, hmm, nah, this, this would not be a, a good enough, uh, video on its own, so we're just gonna go ahead and do two lives. Or something. And there goes another death on my record. As you can see, the uh, rooms change every time you play, so even if you directly hit replay after dying, like I did, um, it doesn't give you the same layout. Okay, so. Uh, no keys. Two bombs, though. That might help. Might even look for the secret room if I can find a. Oh. Whoa, I have never seen a pink one before. Uh, well, let's take care of it, I guess. Come on. Alright. So these ones are obviously veterans, and they must do double damage or have twice as much health or something. Um, I'm going to try and keep my distance if I can. There we go. Dropped an entire chest. That was nice of him. And a key, yay! Alright, we'll go ahead and bomb this. I always like bombing to get into chests, because chests often have bombs themselves, so it's worth it. Alright, a dime. 
might be worth going to the store, but I don't think I will. Yay, the PhD. Now, as much as I would love to just grab that right now, I might take damage in the boss room, and the PhD heals me, I think. My last video showed that it did, so we're... Gemini, you're killing me. Literally. Alright, um, let's try this with Gusto. Um, and after all that, I said about the layout being different. You have to go and give me the same boss. Oh, whatever, that's fine. I can do this, I'm sure of it. Ow. Right on the nose. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can take out the shooter first. I've, I wonder what really happens if you do that. Because I've always taken out the big one first so far. This will also help with my uh, dodging skill. Or skill ups, I should say. Okay. So far, I am doing terribly. Luckily, I left a full healing PhD in the other room. So, as long as I survive, um, I should be fine. There. Killed the small one first. What do you do now? Oh, you still just chase after me? I thought, I thought it was going to be like, you know, twinish and start shooting me like... Well, the little one shoots me and then once you beat it, it melees me. So I thought the melee one, you kill it and it would start shooting me. What's this? Fox. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Bad trip. Okay. Well, whatever. I got a whole bunch of stuff. The moon takes me to the secret room. I'm going to grab the PhD before I forget it. And we will take a wild guess. Wait, there's a chest over there, and I've got uh, another key, so I might as well try that. Worthless. Okay. We'll bomb here. And no luck. But now we know for certain where the secret room is, and it's right here. Booyah. Whoops. Man, why do I always ruin such things? Oh well. Um, Bomb, I wish I could pick you back up, but alas, I cannot. I think that's everything. I mean, I'm not going to the store. Uh, no, I'm not going to the store. I'm saving this key for the item room. That's a priority. The item room is almost always better. Hey, Judgment. Well, he's actually a beggar, but, you know. Uh-oh. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. Killed the veteran in time, so... Shouldn't be too bad. These guys look like the guys who shoot flies at you, but they're not shooting flies. Hey, do you drop a bomb too? You can blow up all these rocks for me. Come on. Whoa. I don't know how I dodged damage there, but... Okay. Dumb luck, of course. That, that's, that explains it. Okay. Got another key. Uh, might as well get the item room first before getting the uh, thing. Distant admiration. I got an attack fly that circles around me and might take some hits or might do some damage. I will most certainly be taking this rotten meat. Okay. The hoppers of doom. Come on. There. Got you both. Uh, I don't like these guys. Well, they only shoot. At least they're not following me. That's that's the main thing. Okay. The chasers I, I have a priority of killing. Alright, bags of meat. Hmm. Aha! You can't get me. Well, maybe you will. I mean, those bullets are veering in kind of weird ways. I'm probably not going to dodge them. Especially if I can't hit this guy. And... Done. Whoa. I haven't seen that before. Golden key, okay. Um... Alright. I guess it unlocked a whole bunch of things. I'll give him money later if I have some. Okay. So, let's see. If I can just take out these guys quickly. 
before they swarm me. Uh, okay. And that one up there, when I die, I'll come back and I'll have full health and stuff, but if I damage the boss, the boss will be back to full health too, so it's not like it's helping me too much, just gives me another chance. Okay, this box, I think, slowed me down. I was moving slow there for a minute. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, no boss yet. Let's move on to the next room and see what we get. Hey, Spides. Come on. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Alright, there we go. Alright, fly. Make the great sense of irony and eat one of these spiders. Come on, do it. Alright, got another key. So obviously it's not doubling my key power. I got the challenge room so I can go ahead and sacrifice some health, but let's go ahead and go through here. Oh wow. I didn't use any 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 keys when I opened that. It might be just for one room. I love the ladder. It it lets me cross one one inch gaps or whatever, so that'll help greatly. Let's go ahead and uh, I wanna beat the boss first, because if I can uh, if I take enough damage, I, I want to know from the boss first, rather than just, you know, taking it to the face. Okay, Famine. Another one of those harbingers of the apocalypse. This one shoots, uh, or creates shooting flies, um, which aren't too much of a problem, but once he gets down low enough on health, he becomes a problem, because he'll start shooting at me too. I don't like your double sh shooters. Okay, oh, and of course, just like all the Harbingers, he does that. Which is a pain, but it's easy enough to dodge. Just pay attention to his silly laugh and dodge it. Okay, he should be off his horse here in a minute. Gotcha. Alright, now... He doesn't make uh, flies anymore, so if we can just get rid of him or the flies, you know, they'll be gone forever. I got the Book of Revelations! Yay! Got one? Oh, should have saved that. Such a fool. Oh well. Um, I'm going to save that full heart for when I get back, because I'm probably going to take damage between now and when I explore that one area down there. So let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, sacrificial room. Have at thee. Ow. Bombs. Yep, bombs. Pills. That. Okay, bad gas. Um. What's this one do? Wait a few seconds. My PhD will uncover what it does. Well. Come on, tell me what it does. Oh, uh, oh, okay, it's a health up. Awesome. I'll go ahead and use that now. Um, I'll use the bad gas and take the moon with me. Actually, I might as well just use the moon right now, because it's going to take me to the secret room. One penny for your thoughts. Thanks. Oh, well. That's how it is. Um... Okay, I think I see how the box works now. No? Whenever I turn, I, I slow down significantly. Maybe I should avoid taking the box from now on. Whatever. Next. Trapped in a box, and you're to blame. Okay, sorry. Uh, Catacombs 1. This is another one of those new areas. I forgot about giving money to Judgment, but at the same time, it's probably better I didn't, because what am I going to get for one penny? I'll do a sacrifice if I get more health. In fact, I might help Dark Judgment over there if I get more health. Okay. Ah, the double shot flies hurt. Well, they're hard to dodge, anyway. Luckily, my cube of meat saved me from taking some damage, so it's been helping me so far. Okay. You create spiders. Congratulations. Um, 
more spiders. And my golden key is gone, so I'm guessing it's just for one floor. Don't really care to open the uh, store just yet, because, well, I don't have any money, and I'll just waste a key, unless I get a golden key. Alright. Have to keep those golden keys in mind, because I might just not open anything until I see if I can find one or not. Alright. Uh, these guys with their weird mouths, they're like Larry Jr., but they're not. And they're stuck. Oh, hey. I have this ladder I forgot I had. Um, my damage is not doing very well. Because I didn't pick up any damaging items. I mean, the cube of meat and the fly can hurt people if I get close enough. But, good luck with that. Uh, this is this is why I'm glad I, I'm glad I got the ladder. Uh, let's go ahead and get the item room. Some sort of other mushroom. It looks just like the one up, sort of. Mini mush, speed and range, and I'm a bit smaller. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go over and bomb this, and boom, and go ahead and open this chest. Uh, more range, why not? Okay, um, not done exploring yet, and I don't know if I want to uh, do the uh, sacrifice yet or not. These are like greed heads, or at least they look like, like that to me. Let's see if I can kill them from a distance. Alright, about done with this one I think. Though, the earlier one had less health because I poisoned it. Okay, done. Another key. Heck, heck yes. Uh, let's beat the boss, then we'll decide if we're going to sacrifice or not, because we're talking probably a lot of health lost to the boss here. Uh, the husk. I haven't fought this or seen it fought before. Looks like it's full of flies. Ah, okay. Um, looks like a moving version of, uh, Monstro slash, uh, Duke of Flies. And he's got a lot of minions. Alright. Out of the way, Spider. So he's like a combination of the Fistula, because he's moving around, bouncing off the walls. But he's also like Monster because he's shooting blood at me. And he's also like the Duke of Flies because, well, he's spewing out flies. Okay, I'm not feeling too bad about this. Uh, hey flies, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to kill your home, I'm sorry, but it was it, was it or me. Okay, so we'll just finish off these flies. Grab the half heart first, because... More speed? I'm going to be faster than I know what to do with. Okay, half heart. And let's see what the devil wants. Uh, damage up and... Um, Guppy's head. Let's go Guppy's head. This is all about getting new items. I don't even know what it does. Oh, but you know... Well, actually, wouldn't have helped anyway. I was, I was about to say I should have sacrificed first... And then, wait, what's all the way over here? Is it a challenge room? No, it's, oh, okay, it's a sacrifice room. Let's open that. Bad trip. Full health. Well, they're both kind of full health. Let's see, I'm going to take the bad trip, and I'm going to lose some health again. And I'm going to go sacrifice to the other place. Actually, I'm going to give some health to this guy. And then use it. And then leave half a heart, or a whole heart left over. Hmm, don't know what those do yet. Okay, so a whole heart. Alright, then go back and get the full health. Might as well use the pretty fly already, so I, I already have two orbitals. Get hurt. 
use the full health or I'll die and then get through mm. so in a way I traded half a heart for a pretty fly ultimately let's give him two more Ooh, another guppy item I think guppy's paw whoa Oh, oh, oh my gosh. So every time I use it, it eats a health container and gives me a and gives me three spirit hearts. Okay. What's this? Mom's pearl. Well, I know what the pinky eye does and I'm not too impressed with it. So let's just keep on going. So I got two guppy items already. I kind of forgot what the head does. We'll find out. And then there's a heart here that I could have come back and got. Whatever. Okay. Oh, yep. Another gift you don't want. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and do the challenge room. Because that's just how it is. Guppy's head, help me. Oh. Guppy's head gives me friends forever, or friends to the ends. Okay. Um. Sup, hives? Ready to dives? Haha, ha, sorry. I, I shouldn't make fun of names. Anyway, um. Not too hard, but the third wave, and there's always three waves to these things, I've noticed. Should be a bit harder. Probably gonna be those chaser shooter guys. shots on each fly. Yep, I win. And done. Oh, no, it's turrets. It's turrets. I want to finish off this one first. Dang it. Can't you all go away? Ultimately. Alright. Come on, open up. Uh, one more shot should do it, I think. Yep, so five shots, I think. One, two, two, and three, four, and, come on, open up, five. Hey, troll bomb. Thanks for not helping. Okay, let's go ahead and use this health up. Yay! Alright. And, whoa. Whoa. Cut it out, all of you. I'm not good enough for this. Okay. I think I got this room under control now. Ah, until that happens. Luckily, I've got plenty of s eternal ethereal hearts. Um, but I could really use those regular hearts back. I, I didn't know Guppy's paw was pretty much a deal with the devil. <laughs> for ethereal hearts. Alright, and boom. Oh no, there's no way to get that bomb. Psych. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Hey, Greed. Sorry, but if you hit me, I'm not going to drop any money. I wonder what causes Greed to spawn anyway. Might be just random, but... It seems to be he spawns every so often depending on certain conditions that I don't know anything about. Okay, give me some friends to the end. I could really use them. Alright, killed your spider. Okay, I'm doing a bang up job dodging and or making my friends take the hits for me. How often does Guppy's head recharge, I wonder? Hey, okay, stop. One, one minion's enough. Jeez, Cuba Meat and Assist Fly, you guys sure are pulling the weights. I mean, this isn't Captain Thief plays Binding of Isaac, this is the Cube of Meat and uh, Assist Fly around Captain Thief play Binding of Isaac. And Captain Thief is just commenting on it. Six cents. That was that was kind of worth it. And I got my key back. 
Don't know what Mom's Pearl does, but it seems to be one of those passives that you can only have uh, only have one of at a time. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna get to safety here and kill these guys from a safe, healthy distance. Okay, and I win. Half a heart, and uh, I should really save my bombs, but still, these tinted rocks are like guaranteed to be good. A key! Alright. Um, oh, these things are greed heads, they're making me drop monies. Stop it with the making me drop monies. I don't want to drop monies. Okay. At least, I think they're not as bad as the regular greed, though, because I think I drop one coin and I can pick it up again. Whereas with greed, I drop three coins and I can only pick up two. So, effectively, even if I win and pick up all the money, I still lose one coin per hit. Okay, are you ready to, you know, stop, stop bouncing around and, you know, die? Okay, there we go. One left. Nah. Come on. Have at thee. I dare ya. I double dare you. Like I said, I've already, like, saved, I don't know, ten hearts thanks to this cube of meat and, uh, fly here. Okay, if I play my cards right, I, I just won't blow up that poop and the flies won't have any reason to hate me. Um... But I think they can still hurt me if I run into them, so I might just need to take care of them once it's over. Can't have them attacking me now, can we? Alright, I win. Um, safest way... Haha! -ha. Sorry, I didn't mean to destroy your favorite hobby there, but... You know, eventually we're gonna run into each other, and I'm gonna wish I had killed you. I'll blow up or destroy that tinted rock someday soon. These weird gluttonies. Ow. Okay, I'm no good at dodging these things, and they take a whole heart. Stop it. Guppy's head, help me out. Um, there. I think one of them died. Uh, two of them. Uh, and I misjudged their range. One more. I'm probably gonna have to learn how to fight those guys. Alright, lots of these. And done. I said done. Okay. And. Come on, you jerks. Oh, another guppy's head is ready. I should really be using that every room if it recharges every room. Even items that charge only once every two rooms need to be saved, but ones that happen all the time? I'll take this. Ah, why did I do that? And why did I not run through? Uh, let's go ahead and take Sister Maggie. That'll help us shoot some more. Uh, what is this? Okay, gave me a spirit heart. That's appreciated. Gave me uh, a child's heart. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, gave me a two of hearts. I appreciate that. And give up. I, I maybe it cursed me. Goat hoof. Well, that's just giving me all sorts of stuff. This is cool. Alright, um... I got all my money back. I'll be right back. Here. Okay. We're back, um... And, uh, we were playing with this, uh, weird slot machine, which I think cursed me, 
and gave me a lot of nice things. I don't know what the goat swift does. I can I've already used the pearl for a while and I don't know what that does. The child's heart I can guess will just give me more hearts. Which I don't really oppose, but let's try the goat hoof for a while. Maybe I can figure out what it does. Um I probably should have bombed my way out and saved all, an entire heart. Well, whatever. Let's uh, go on through. Oh, yes, this. I got bombed somehow, so I might as well blow it up. Boom. Spirit heart. Okay. Back to uh, however much I had. Okay, just need to up one of these guys. Ah, ha ha ha. And another key. Awesome. Um. Now we go down. A whole mess of spiders. Friends to the end. Friends to the end. I took care of a lot of them, but not all of them. Still wearing that box, which slows me when I turn. Uh, a nickel. And the boss. And did I do that challenge room already? I did, but there is a spot up there. Did I sacrifice anything yet? Let's go find out. Oh wait, yeah I did. I, that's where I went through actually. Silly me. Okay, um, we will go up and around. And we already know the secret room is, so we don't need to bomb for it. And uh, what's in here? Uh, a whole mess of spiders again. Uh, help me. Okay, so. They seem to follow me slightly, but not all the time, so I, I don't know what's up with that. And winner is us. Okay, last spider. And then we can discuss how we're going to get that dime. Now, the way you try to get dimes is you go up and up, over. Let's see. W and A. Let's try that. Aha! Did it. Alright. And, uh... Not having fun with these guys. Just... Go away. Okay. At least I pushed it away. Um... Let's go for the item room. Um, homing bombs, which will give me more bombs. Don't mind if I do. Also, I need to not get hit. I didn't leave any uh, any hearts behind, so... Um... Hey there, champion... Zombie? I'm not even sure what he was. Okay. I've only got one half of a heart left, which is one hit. Did I leave any hearts in here? No. Did, can I buy any hearts in here? No, I was greed. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here's one thing I can do though. I can use the two of hearts. And now double my half a heart into one heart. And I can take one hit. I have the one up though. I think I'll save my two of hearts until later. I'll just try and play professionally. Alright, Pete. Um, so, just gotta be careful when it jumps. And also be careful of the eyeballs. And send some more death its way. Uh oh. It begins. And watch out for the hippity hopping. And. Gotta keep an eye on that eye occasionally. And I was lucky not to take damage there. Or there. Okay. Now it seems to be chasing me with its hops. So that's my guess, is that once it gets low enough on health, it's gonna start chasing me. Um sort of. Didn't really chase me there. Oh, there I went. Well, let's try that again. This time, I'm ready for you. Well, gotta try and not be too greedy about doing damage here. Even though I need to take it out as fast as I can. Okay. Here comes.
comes an eyeball. I said, here comes an eyeball. Okay. Here comes the chasing. And here comes the eyeball. Hmm. I'm starting to wish I had uh, spectral tears so that I could shoot through these rocks, but it could not. But what are you going to do? The thing about using some bombs on this might help, but if I blow up myself, that's the end of me with just one bomb. Because bombs do a whole heart worth of damage. Ah, okay. Gotta watch it. Watch it. Alright. See, this is another thing I like with this game. It, it, each new challenge kind of pushes you to do better in a different way. This one's all about dodging, as well as keeping my eye on like eight different things. Because we got Peep, we got both of its eyes, and we got all those shots that are coming after me. I'm so close to beating it. Okay, sweet. Only cost me where I won up. Hey there, dog food. Okay, um. I. I don't know what else there is on this floor. I mean, everything else is empty. We'll just go on down then. <sighs> if I can find a blood bank, I might be able to use this two of hearts to, uh, well, get two extra plays out of it, I guess. I'm in the depths. I got enough keys. I might as well do this. Another bomb, another key. Awesome. And another bomb. And since my tears aren't spectral, this will go through instantly. And, oh man, Zomborgs. If I can just get rid of one or two of them, this will be a lot easier. Ah, got rid of the champion, and he dropped a dime. The nickels are like a darker color of metal. Okay, almost done killing this guy. There we go. Okay, now I've got lots of monies, lots of bombies, and a goat hoof, which I still don't know what that does. Um, I think these guys are easy if I just stay here and shoot them from afar. I know it's cheap, but I, I need all the help I can get. Friends till the end, guys. Friends till the end. Finish him without being an idiot. There we go. Another key, another dollar. Um, down we go. The zombies again. Guess what? I'll just do this. Hmm. Luckily, I have melee things because otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been able to kill them fast enough. And a winner is me. Okay. Over here. Bomb flies. Do, do, do. Okay, you guys shoot randomly. Ow. Um, I didn't like that. Let's see if I can find some health, because I don't want to burn through this two of hearts just yet. Even though this is the maximum amount of use I'm going to get out of it. A whole heart. Whereas if I put it off until I have half a heart left, then I'll only get half a heart out of it. Uh, decisions, decisions. Well... I'm doing well enough, so I might as well just finish off these leapers and continue on my way of trying to save literally half a heart. Because who knows how much how much good that'll do me. You stop hopping and leaping around. And in the end, it turned out to be you who got me. Well, let's use it now. I'm not going to get much use, more use out of it. Teleport. I'm going to use that and teleport out. Ha ha ha! What do you think about that? Um... I hear if I go back and get Guppy's head, it's just going to, um... Hang on, I better blow up this tinted rock. E, right? Yeah, E. Bombs in a spirit heart. I'm just going to call them spirit hearts. It's too deeply ingrained into my lexicon. Not, not much I can do to help that now. Okay, so, now I just need to, okay, but just two of them, I can't be really cornered all that well. 
Whereas with four, they definitely stood a chance. More hearts. I, I need more of those blood banks. Hey, item room. Ah, the x-ray specs. Let's me see through walls. It's only good for finding the secret room. Maybe good for finding that other secret room that's a lot harder to find. Here off, here from here on, mentioned as uh, the super secret room. Ah, there's a secret room. Unicorn horn gives me invincibility, and I wreck up the place for a while. Well, if nothing else, I might as well pick it up and put it back down just so I have it in my collection. Well, we've already seen what teleport does. Let's show off what uni the unicorn horn does. Mr. Mans, you stop that right now. Right this second. Okay. And... Finish him up. Ouch. Okay, I didn't take that much damage in here. What was that? A heart and a half? A heart? Left or right? Let's go left so that way we have an exit. Be careful though. The spikes can hurt them too, I think. But it's harder to get them on there. And they still like to block you in. Jeez. You guys take a lot of hits. Okay. And... See, I think the spikes hurt him a little. Hmm. I probably should have used the unicorn horn on that because it would have sped things up. Ooh. Sacrifice. But... I, ha I, I definitely have hearts to spare. Okay. That's one. Ha ha ha. Gonna get that in case something steals my ladder, even though I, I don't think anything gets rid of your items. A uh, spirit heart. Okay, that was, that was worth it. Who knows if I'm ever gonna find a blood bank at this rate anyway. Um, over this way. Right in the fire. Okay, and... Uh, they're hardest when they're still connected. When they're disconnected, even when they're two bodies like that, it's it's not too too hard to beat them. And there we go. Okay, and there. Bombs. Oh, it does help me find the secret, super secret room. Time to just blow this popsicle stand. Ah, that's the drawback. The unicorn horn takes a long time to recharge. Okay, this one has special music. Let's open it and get spiders. Anyone else remind of Minecraft with that music? Uh, can't I get something that's not spiders? Oh, well, at least I can find the super secret room from now on using my x-ray specs. Um... Might as well take a short... Ooh, there's a heart. I'll have to remember that if I see a reason to use hearts. Like, taking damage for us. I should have left that fire on. These Slayer Juniors were going to keep on running into it. Or they were going to put it out with their teeth. I've, I've seen them do that before, I think. Okay, um... Let's, we'll just play a game of Centipede here. <laughs> and, uh... Shoot upwards up the poop and nothing in there let's see what's in the shop the compass that's definitely worth it okay so now I know where pretty much everything is except for secrets but I'll see those with my extra specs and I don't need the key um, there's still one more store so I'm gonna save it save my money for the last store hopefully that'll help uh, and I beat it's just not right the way I did things. I gotta go up there and beat the uh, the uh, challenge room and make things right. Hey, Guppy's head. Ready to help me out here? All four of you are still alive? Okay, there we 
we go. Got one. And... Got... Two? Three? Four. Okay. Hey, how's it going, poppers? Um... I think I just keep Guppy's head. I kind of like the combination of attacking and uh, defending it does. Though it's not really all that defensive. But it also recharges once a room. And I need items every room. I need to get used into the habit of using an item whenever I can. So, Because, I mean, when I had the Unicorn Horn, occasionally I forgot I even had it. So... You know, I'm still a noob in that vein. Okay, almost done with this dark nut. Did did he just run into his friend? That that that's interesting if he actually killed his friend there. Okay, and I got a live bomb for making things right. Uh, I guess that's just my uh, reward for being a cheater. All right, Guppy's head. Let's let's take care of this boss. Who is Monstro 2? He's a lot like Monstro, but he shoots lasers. Okay. And he also spawns shooting, no, well, exploding flies, I should say. Not bomb flies, but when they die, they shoot bullets everywhere flies. Does that make sense? You know, those? Yeah, you saw me fight this guy before. Okay, um. Of course, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with just one and a half hearts, but harder, weirder things have happened. Okay, just gotta watch for that laser. Man, I am fast. Okay, and if you're good, you can get him to just keep lasering, but I was not good enough. Hey, I kept running into him. That was, I was my own worst enemy. Oh, Goat Hoof, what did you do? Um, I'm gonna see if it even shows up in the item collection. Um, looking. But I'm not seeing it. And I don't even see what the box does or anything like that. Just, I, I guess that's part of the fun of this game. It's finding out what each item does. And I think I can appreciate that. As much as I would like to know what each item does. Okay, I'm gonna guess that those items that you get, like the hoof and the child's heart and all that, don't. Oh, that that's a different item. That's not the child's heart. Uh, don't show up in your collections. They're just kind of there. Um, maybe, because I'm not seeing any of those passive actives back over here, which is okay. Still, um, this has been Captain Thief playing Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.